This video is for informational purposes only. There are risks to jailbreaking your iDevice and it does void your Apple warranty. So think before you act. Hey guys, Matt here from todaysiphone.com and today we're gonna to go over some jailbreak news and some other things, so let's get to it. Currently, there is no update on when we will be able to see an untethered jailbreak for iOS 5 as no news has come in yet. However, a semi-tethered jailbreak was released this week. There will be a link down below on how to actually uh, do this semi-tethered jailbreak. Uh, I just want to mention that I'm not a big fan of uh, tethered jailbreaks. Uh, they're very painful to me. Uh, I'm not a person who likes to have to reboot and you know reboot the iPhone pwned. So uh, you can do this and if you have the patience and you don't mind a tethered jailbreak, Go right ahead, but I'm a person that will just wait until the untethered jailbreak is released. With that being said, the directions on how to do it are down below in the description. I also want to mention that this uh, jailbreak is not available for the iPhone 4S or the iPad 2, so do not attempt to uh, complete the jailbreak with those two devices. Some other good news uh, for those that have the iPhone 4 and the iPad 2 and are interested in Siri, it has been ported over to both iPhone 4, as you guys heard, and the iPad 2 uh, this week. The only problem is Surrey right now on the iPhone 4 and the iPad 2 cannot connect to Apple servers. So as a result, you will not be able to actually use Surrey, but the settings are on the device. So it's like it has Surrey, but it can't use Surrey. So uh, hopefully in the future weeks here, we'll be able to see a update that will fix this issue and we'll have Surrey on the iPad 2. I really, really think that Apple in the future, it's in their best interest to release Siri uh, publicly uh, without jailbreaking to the iPad 2 at least just because it can handle it. It has uh, higher specs and better benchmarks than the iPhone 4 us, so I could not see them uh, not updating and bringing Siri to the iPad 2. The iPhone 4, I think they're using it as a reason to get the 4S. So, that's up to you guys. You'll be able to get it either through the jailbreak community or Apple eventually. This week a lot of jailbreak community developers have been releasing uh, tweaks that offer new widgets in the notification center which I'm really disappointed in Apple for not actually opening this up to third party sources in the beginning. So now we have to rely on the jailbreak community which we can rely on. And one thing that I've already seen is a SB settings type in the notification center where you can respring, you know, turn on the flashlight, turn off your Wi-Fi, stuff like that which is awesome because you can access the notification center anywhere in iOS 5 so uh, two thumbs up for all the developers working on that and there's also a new one out this week which allows you to kill all the apps in the background right from notification center so hopefully that'll wind up saving you some battery life so again two thumbs up to that uh, developer as well so thank you for putting in that time and effort and uh, I will post links to those tweaks down below in the description as well. Finally guys, I want to encourage you to follow me on Twitter at HomeGeek where I'll be posting any jailbreak news that I hear about a untethered or tethered jailbreak release for the 4S, the iPad 2, or, and just basically any jailbreak news in general that I hear about I will relay over through Twitter if you guys can't wait till Tuesday for an update. Uh, but until there's actually a untethered jailbreak for the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2, you'll be getting videos like this uh, just because I have both those devices and they both cannot be jailbroken at this time. Uh, I am working on getting myself a device that I can jailbreak so we can get back to tweaks and applications and themes. But until then, we'll have news. We'll keep you guys up to date. Tell me if you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. You know, add it to your favorites. Thank you guys so much. Please head over to todaysiphone.com for all the latest tech news. You guys have a great day. And as always, peace. Whoosh.